This is Richard Lynch, you're watching I Love Limerick.com and today we're at the LGBT Limerick Prize to find out what puts the T in LGBT. What do you think is the T in LGBT? Uh, the T stands for transgender. So the lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender community. What puts the T in LGBT? Trans does. Trans, uh, gender, transsexual, trans everything. Anybody that crosses the gender boundaries, trans. A T is the transgender folks in our society. And these are people who, if they're born, uh, I suppose, as male, and they feel inside themselves they really are female, um, they want to change their gender and to get that recognized. Uh, or if they're born female and really feel inside themselves that they are in fact male, they look for that change also. Unfortunately in Ireland we're the last country in Europe that allows for that recognition in law and I've been working on that along with other advocacy groups, TENI particularly, in order to ensure that we finally get a way for people to change their gender in law. The T stands for a transgender and that's our trans community, our trans friends, family and it's so important that we don't see the T as just an add-on. You know, LGBT, we're all equal in this community and until we all have equality, no one will have equality. And I think that, you know, a lot of the current focus at the moment, Richard, is on marriage equality and that's very, very important because we have a referendum coming up in April and we all need to mobilise and win that referendum. But I think marriage equality also has huge symbolic value. I think it's a, it's a headline issue and it's not just the rights that come with marriage equality, it's what that says about equal citizenship, about who we are in a republic and that includes everyone in our LGBT community. What's the difference between transphobia and homophobia? Well there's not really very much difference. I mean homophobia is, um, is about the fact that a man should be what a man is and a woman should be what a woman is and if they don't love the people they're supposed to love according to somebody's rules somewhere in the world um, then, that, then, then it's okay to hate them. I mean that's basically what homophobia is and, and transphobia is exactly the same but it's based on how people outwardly identify so if I'm um, if you consider me to be a woman and I'm dressed as a man then um, and you have a problem with that in some way and you tell me you have a problem with that that's transphobia well transphobia would be prejudice and or you know would be bias against people who are transgender uh, homophobia um, you know would be I suppose would be more commonly understood that's prejudice dislike and um, discrimination essentially against people who would be lesbian gay um, or bisexual so again I see I see those terms as very linked we are we, okay there are differences but we are part of the one community and I'd like to say as well, just briefly, Richard, what I think was amazing being here in Limerick today was marching, you know, past the Garda station with the rainbow flag flying. And I think it's great to see because at the end of the day, LGBT people were not a special interest group. We're an integral part of the community. And, you know, it's, the Irish state, you know, does and should value us as equal citizens. And I think having official gym like the Garda supporting us in that very visible way is so important. And what do you think is the difference between transphobia and homophobia? Um, phobia means fear of transphobia is fear of those people who are want to change their gender or feel that they're different than the gender that they were born from. Uh, homophobia is fear of homosexuals, fear of me and Louise, people who are gay, lesbian or bisexual. Why are people afraid of love? I don't get it. Yeah, Thank yeah, you no. so much for talking to me and the best of luck to you and your love. Thank you so much.
So our Pride Parade is traveling down to the streets of Limerick. This is our LGBT Pride Parade. And today we're fighting not just for LGBT rights, but more importantly, trans rights, human rights, human equality for all. So if you don't know about TENI, the trans organization, T-E-N-I, I advise you Google them and help us stamp out injustices to human rights. Mr. and Ms. Gay Limerick right here. We're one of the only countries in Europe that are not advancing transgendered rights. How does that make you feel as a person that is always fighting for human rights? Uh, well, I don't know, it has always seemed to be one of the slower countries to, to kind of catch on to things. And uh, I think it's the same reason why homosexuality is, is being targeted now. It's the same reason why well, the, the whole community has been targeted now. For me, it's just it's a lack of education, it's a lack of knowledge, it's a fear, it's, it's a lack to accept people for who they are. Um, the reason why I'm supporting it is because you can't really tell people who they love or why they love somebody or who they cannot love. It's, it, for me, it doesn't make any sense. And for anybody to try, or any government in particular to try and put boundaries on who you can love I do, it doesn't make sense and I think it's only a matter of time to for people to kind of realize it so events like this is just um, it's just, look it's it's paving the way forward so that's why I'm here and why have trans rights not developed in Ireland as much as in other countries I don't think people quite understand uh, the impact of uh, gender identity in this country. What is a man? What is a woman? And what is somebody that identifies differently to how their parents think they are when they're born? Um, and that, that's a complicated thing that it takes a long time to get into people's consciousness that actually gender is a self-identity. Um, and it's, it's difficult to to, to fight for a single group rights when there's people consider there's other bigger groups that still don't have their rights. Right. Um, so we're doing it in a way that includes everybody's rights. Yeah, LGB, anti. Well, I think a lot of it has to do with visibility. I think that's why we've seen such huge increases and such huge strides made in terms of gay rights. Because gay people have been coming out more. That visibility is absolutely essential. Because it breaks, it, that breaks down barriers, that breaks down stereotypes. Because once somebody knows a gay person, and the research has shown this, that that is the single biggest factor uh, which will make that person supportive of equality. Our trans brothers and sisters Sisters, you know, I think that there's more of a, a difficulty there at the moment, but I think they're catching up. I really do. I think the likes of Tenny, which is a, a trans uh, support uh, campaigning group, they're now becoming more active and more visible, and I think that will break down barriers. But I think we in the LGB of the of that section of the LGBT community, we need to not forget uh, forget the trans community as we march towards full equality. I think transgendered rights have been forgotten in Ireland. I mean, as you said, it's so backward. What can we do to fall? These, these these people's rights. Yes. This is a human rights issue. It's absolutely a human rights issue um, and I think the main thing that we need to do is to advocate in order to get the law changed so that they can go and get their birth certs changed so that then then for example right now if you're a boy and you feel if you're born a boy and you feel you're a girl and are and want to get recognized as a girl and are applying for college and you want to apply for college as a girl or a young woman you can't do that 
And so it's absolutely critical to get the law changed for people to get in behind us and to look for that change. We have a bill, um, the government is considering it, and I expect that that should go through by the end of this year. You're a Brazilian person living in Ireland, right? Why do you think that trans rights are so behind in Ireland and what can we do about it? Well, I think this country is fabulous. I mean, I, I, I'm married to a citizen from Ireland. I feel very glad living here. But I think that people I still don't understand that uh, being a transsexual means to be born in the wrong body, right? Uh, sometimes when I go out, I feel like people think being a transsexual is you are a clown, that people are slagging you and laughing at you, and that's not the meaning, do you know what I mean? We are born in the wrong body, like we are getting therapy, we are making an effort to make ourselves like happy and to have a better life. And I don't understand why people are so intolerant. Like, I think that uh, people to make an effort to tolerate and to understand that the world is is different. You know, we have several like, uh, how can I tell you? Like, several um, races, sexualities. Exactly. Crazy. Yes. You know, all we want is to be happy, to socialize with people, and enjoy our times in the society. That's what we want. Thank and that's you. why hopefully you're going to get one day. Well, I hope, guys, love is above everything. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> why do you think trans rights are so behind in Ireland? I think it might be due to the Catholic background of this country. Um, Catholic Ireland was quite a repressive place. Our government shamefully fought the Libya, spent taxpayers' money fighting the Lydia Foy case in Europe for the past decade. Um, actually spent money trying to deny its own, well, us our rights, to spend taxpayers' money trying to deny us our rights. It's not, it doesn't just deny trans people its rights, it denies women their rights. It, you know, I think the treatment of, of women over abortion, if, if you have the money you can go abroad and if you can't then you know, so you, you think it has its roots in misogyny? I think it has. I think it has the, um, the Catholic Church and misogyny, uh, patriarchy. Um, um, well, anybody who stepped out of line in Ireland at all, um, well, they were sent away or they were locked away, weren't they really? Whether it be, whether it be unmarried mothers or whether you know they, they were mother and child homes. I think, I think a lot has to do with our Catholic background. We're here today fighting for human rights, lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgendered rights. Why do you think there's so much hatred, homophobia, transphobia against this community? No, from a Limerick point of view and a local point of view, I don't find that here in Limerick. Look at, look at out here today. Look at the whole positivity that's taking place. And I would prefer to get away from the negativity. Build on the positivity, Richard, always. No matter what the issue is, let's, let's worry, let's, not, let's forget about the dark shadows and the black spots. Let's be positive, let's work together. And I mean, pride is a fantastic title today. Pride in ourselves, pride in our communities, pride in our families, pride in what we are, and pride in what we do. And pride in our proud and how we behave and I'm so proud to be associated with Limerick Pride here today. It is fantastic. So let's be positive and let's build on the goodwill of people who are being positive and let's put the begrudgers and the negative people aside. Hallelujah. Happy Pride. Oh Richard.
this is Richard Lynch. You've been watching I Love and we've been here today fighting for not just LGBT rights, but trans rights. Let's put the T back in LGBT. See you soon. You know, I just want to mention one thing. I want to thank ilovelimerick.com for all their amazing work throughout the years. So not alone did they do great work for Pride, but they do tiredness work as well for the entire year. So let's give it up for I Love Limerick for putting Limerick back on, back on the map. Yeah.